Hello and welcome to Skill Techathon. This is the SQL interview questions and answer series. Today we are going to look into one of the SQL interview questions. So we have been given an input table with order ID and order date. And the order IDs are in sequential order. And we need to write a query to identify the missing order IDs. If we look into the input tables, we have order ID 1, 2, 3, 4 is missing. 5, 6, 7, 8 is missing, then 9, 10, 11, 12 is missing, then 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 is missing, then 18, 19, 20. So in the output table, we need to find the order IDs which are missing. And here order IDs are in sequence. So the output will be 4, 8, 12 and 17. These are the order IDs which are missing. So we need to find the gaps in the sequence. So let's go to SQL and check how we can do it. Okay, I have already written the query to create the table orders. Let's run this. So I'm creating a orders table with order ID and order date. Let's insert the values. Now let us check the table. So this is the table we have created. We have order ID and order date. So in order ID, Order ID 4 is missing, then 8 is missing, then 12 is missing, then 17 is missing. So we need to find the order IDs which are missing in this sequence. So what we are going to do is, for this we are going to use generate series function so that we can generate a sequence from the minimum order ID to the larger order ID or to the maximum order ID. So let's write this select. Now we'll be using the function generate underscore series. Now inside this, we are going to pass minimum order ID, then comma maximum order ID. Okay. Now we'll give it as an alias of order underscore ID from that's table. Now let's run this. Okay, we have to give a bracket here, right? Now let's run this. So we have generated a sequence of series. In the order ID, so in order ID we have now 20 rows from 1 till 20 and, they, and there is no order ID missing. So all of these are in sequence 1, 2, 3, 4 like that till 20. Now we are going to write a query to find the missing one. So all this query, right, select generate series, we are, will be putting this under a with close. With Let's name it as sequence as let's put all of this under a bracket. Now we are going to write the query to get the missing IDs. To do that, what we are going to do is we are going to join the two tables. This orders table now with CTC, this sequence table. We are going to join these two tables using left join to get the values which are missing. So to do that, we are going to write select as dot order ID from, from the table sequence and we'll give it as a alias as S left join. Now we'll be writing our table order and we'll give it as a alias as O. On now we'll give the column name on which the table will join. So s dot order id should be equal to the o dot order id. Now we only want the order ids where the sequence is missing. So we are going to write a where close where 
code or order ID is null. Now, if we run this query, we are going to get the values which are missing. So we got the values 4, 8, 12 and 17. These are the order IDs which are missing in the sequence of order IDs which was given to us in the input table. Now, let me explain this query again. So this with close, right? This with close is generating a sequence of integers from minimum to the maximum order ID in the orders table using generate underscore series function. After that, we are performing left join between the generated sequence and the orders table using this query. Now in left join, what happens in SQL is if we use left join, it combines rows from two or more tables based on a related column item. Now it returns all rows from the left table along with the matching rows from the right table. And if there is no match, the result is null. So there are four values missing in the order ID table. That's why we'll be getting the null values and we want the null values order ID. Now we are filtering it using where clause. It, so it filter out the rows where order ID is null in the order table and it indicates the missing order IDs. This is how this query is working. I hope it's clear. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.